Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Freshworks CRM. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might have came across uh, fresh sales here and you're wondering how do you actually start using it and how do you sign up? Well, in this case, first thing you need to do is you just need to search for fresh works here or just directly type in into Google fresh sales. Now it should redirect you to this UI here, which in this case is going to be the free trial section. So in this case, let's go ahead and start our free trial. Let's go ahead and click on start free trial. And from here, it's going to say sign up for a 21 day free trial. So let's go ahead and proceed with our Google account here with sign up. And from here, let's go and choose our email. And from here, let's go ahead and click on confirm. Now from here, it's going to ask us to basically fill out some information about ourselves. But in this case, I've already created my account here and already added a company. So in this case, I want to click on my company here. But if you don't have a company yet, just make sure to enter the company name itself. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the sign up for free option. Now from here, it should start creating your account here. So this might take a few seconds or a few minutes. So in this case, let's just wait for it to load it up. In this case, it's going to ask you a few questions here. So hello, which industry do you belong to? So for example, I'm into computer uh, software. And from here, other industries, if you if you don't see it in here, but for now, let's go ahead and click on next. Now, in this case, uh, we've prioritized the fresh sales for you. So you have contacts, companies, and deals. So these are going to be uh, the modules that actually aligns to your uh, specific um, industry. So let's go ahead and click on next. Now, in this case, we have our manage customers leads or track sales pipelines. So what is your goal here? So for example, maybe I want to say manage customers and leads and click on get started. Now from here, it should load up your UI. And as you can see, this is going to be the main dashboard or the contact section for your page. By the way, let's go to our dashboard here by going to the left panel here and clicking dashboard. Now from the name itself, your dashboard here could contain the general information about your uh, company or your account here. So by default, we have our sales uh, essential dashboard here. So we have our revenue one, revenue loss, and all these details that you might need for you to start tracking what is currently happening with your team. Now, if you want to view a different dashboard, you can go ahead and click on the plus button here, and you could basically add a report, like for example, chat dashboard, page visit and analytics, product dashboard, team activity report, sales trend, and sales forecast. Like for example, let's just say sales trends here. Let's go ahead and open it up and click on it. Now, it should show you the sales trends right now. Now, if you want to view a different one, let's go ahead and uh, view a different one. Like, for example, team activity report. So if you click on it, you should be able to see your current team activity report in here. Now, in this case, uh, we want to uh, use the other options in here. We also have our contacts, our companies, our deals, our conversations, analytics, and admin settings. Now, if you want to change a few things about your account here, you can go to admin settings here. So in this case, you have our leads and contacts and accounts. So you have the website embed code. So in this case, you could basically uh, integrate your website with the CRM to capture leads. So you also have the contact section, the co uh, custom module here. But so most of the settings here might be uh, too advanced for you. But let's go ahead and visit the other uh, sections or the basic sections in, in here as well. So in this case, first thing that we need to do is we want to enter the details of our company and as well as the contacts. So let's go to our companies at the left section here. And from here, we want to add a company. So let's go ahead and click on the add company at the top right of your screen. And we want to add the company name. So in this case, let's go ahead and add a company name here. So for example, this is going to be a test company. But in this case, you can just enter the appropriate company for you. Now in this case, the sales owner here, you could basically set it. If you have like a team, you could set it to yourself or set it to some, someone else. But for now, let's go ahead and click on save. Now from here, this is what the company details is going to look like. So if you want to, for example, add uh, open deals here, add contacts or add a com meetings, you could go ahead and add it in here as well. If you want to add tags on this specific company, you could go ahead and do that. Also have the company details if you want uh, to add further details on it, like for yourself, websites or phone number, as well as changing the, changing the sales owner as well. 
And you still have the recent conversations if you have any conversations. If you, for example, you have a conversation with them via phone, you could record them in this section here as well. Now, you could also see the activities here, like for example, what currently happened in this company, like if notes or tasks were added or any meetings were uh, done. Contacts is contacts that is inside the company itself. Deals is going to be the deals regarding this company here. Files would contain like documentations that you have with the company. You can just basically ta uh, attach them in the company section here. So since we created our company, we now need to create our contact. So let's go ahead and go to contacts here. And in here, you have multiple ways of adding your contact. Like for example, import, uh, import contacts, bring in website leads, invite your team, root leads or your team, or create sales sequence, or set up your uh, sales pipeline. But in this case, uh, you could also import this in other ways. Like for example, if you have a CSV or Excel, Google contacts or Outlook contacts, you can go ahead and choose the appropriate one. But for now, we are going to do this manually. Let's go ahead and click on add contact here. And from here, let's go and add the uh, regard the details that they require. So in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be a test contact, just an example. And from here, you want to choose the company. So in this case, maybe I want to say this is going to be a company that we just recently created. And from here, you also have to enter their email. So in this case, maybe I want to use or enter the following email here as an example. So let's just enter it. And from here, from moving forward, you could just basically add whatever information you need here. Like if they have multiple emails, go ahead and add that, like mobile numbers, work phone, and a lot more. Subscription status here if you want to uh, uh, basically uh, add them. I also have these unsubscribe reason if they unsubscribed. Uh, we also have the WhatsApp subscription status here, uh, SMS subscription status, life cycle stage. So for example, if it's the lead or customer or sales qualified lead here. I also have the status, which is free and new. So you could choose new or contacted or interested. You could go ahead and choose that. So let's could choose the, the option here. This is not subscribed since this one is fairly new. And you could also add their or last name here if you want to as well. If you want to basically customize your fields, you could choose your customized fields here and basically uh, customize the fields that will appear on specific customers because we all know some details that we need to add on certain customers or contacts uh, would uh, be uh, something really cool, especially if like, for example, if you, have, you want a specific field for this specific uh, functionality, you just basically edit that as well. But for now, let's go and exit this one. And from here, let's go and click on the saves. Save. Now, once you've done that, as you can see, uh, this is the contact that we have. This test customer. We also have the score if you want to score them. If uh, you should be able to see the life cycle stage here. So since this fairly new, uh, is currently in the uh, new stage here. But you could basically contact them interested if or unqualified if you want to tag that. So we also have the contact details here. So if you want to add further details on it, you could go and do that. Also have activities if there are recent changes, notes, tasks, or meetings, or companies uh, that they are under in. Now, in this case, uh, how do we create deals now? So let's go ahead and go to deals here. And from here, you should be able to see a different option. So in this case, uh, this is going to be our uh, all the deals that we have right now. So this is the new section, qualification, discovery, demo, negotiation, and also the one here. So there's going to be a lot of uh, sections that you could basically move your specific um, uh, statuses here. So for example, if you want to see more, you could just basically uh, do uh, view the open deals here. Uh, if you want to uh, view the um, your deals here, the deals that is under your name, also have the cold deals, hot deals, one deals, and yeah, and uh, more. But in this case, since we want to create our own deal here, let's go ahead and go to our uh, open or new deals here. So let's just go to all view uh, uh, the old deals here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on add deal here. By the way, if you already have the existing one, you just basically view the import history here or just click on import deals here via CSV file here. But for now, let's go ahead and click on the option that says add deal. And from here, there is the contact. We want to basically add the contact that we just recently created. So this is going to be test contact. The company is going to be the company that we just recently created as well. I also have the deal type here. So for example, this is going to be something new. And from here, deal name is going to be automatically generated. But if you want to have a specific name for it, you could go ahead and do that. And from here, we want to add our deal value. So for example, this is going to be around $1,000. And deal stage here is going to be in new. So let's go ahead and click on save here. 
and from here as you can see this is the new deal that we have right now this case currently in this, it is in the new stage here so you should, if you want again want to view other sections on it like for example properties you could go to deal details here field edit history if anything change uh the activities on it the contacts uh, associated the codes if there are any so if you want to add a new code here just enter the code name code type code template if you have those like in this case, you have the sample template and sample signature template here as well. You have the account here, primary contact as well. Now, in this case, if you want to view the deal team here, you could go ahead and uh, uh, add them. Like for example, if you already have a team member, you could actually add them in here. So you could just basically search them in the section here as well. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and go back into our deal section since we already added our new deal. As you can see, it is our new deal. Now the great thing about uh, Freshworks here is you can move everything by just dragging them into specific uh, sections. Like for example, I just uh, drag them into qualifications and if you want to go to discovery here or if you want to move them into demo, you could go ahead and do that as well as you can see. So if you want to edit them, you could just click on their name and you should be able to edit oh, whatever information you want. Now for example, oh, we have this related contact section. So if you want to edit them, just hover over it and you should, you should be able to see the uh, pencil icon and you'll be able to basically change the contact for it. Now, in this case, as you can see, since we move our card or deal here in different section, it's also going to progress with the uh, current progression here. We have our new qualifications, discovery, demo. Since currently it's under demo, it's going to be on the demo stage. Now, in this case, you can just basically create your new deals here, add companies, add customers or contacts in this section here, and you can just basically start managing your uh, uh, companies or your deals here or your sales. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.